Hi guys, it's Sparky NF12 again. Uh, this is another update on the wiring diagram for the 1986 KDX 200 C1. Um, my original plan was to go ahead with a three phase uh, AC to DC um, regulator to turn this old 86 engine into 12 volts uh, working DC with about 8 amps of current. Um, with the stock wiring I could only get six out of it and my original idea is right here with the schematics that I drew up um, and I did a little bit of math with here so this would be input which would be the first phase coming from the actual stator into a bridge full wave bridge rectifier that you get at Radio Shack it's a uh, 50 volts AC max with uh, I, I'm sorry it's a uh, 400 volts um, AC max to 50 amps that you could input into this full wave bridge rectifier I connected it into a 4700 uh, microfarad capacitor and that would be your ground this ground lead um, the positive lead from the capacitor w or the ground lead to the capacitor would bridge over to the actual uh, positive side um, into a uh, 3 amp diode uh, into the DC to DC boost um, which would also include a 12 volt voltage regulator which would boost the voltage to a working voltage every time with a capacitor series bank and basically you take your ground and your you know your hot lead you put it into a capacitor into a resistor with a little switch diode and then your output load would be 12 volt 5 amps uh, working DC that's not an hour that would be working DC on full throttle the whole time um, which would be the max off full throttle it would be a little bit more it would be I believe six amps um, that you could use now the reason I was doing this is because I'm putting in HID um, for the front headlight and then LEDs for the rear headlight which are going to be in two complete separate circuits so there's no interference for with flickering and EMF for the 12 volt uh, LED rear tail light now a lot of people say it's difficult to convert over from 6 volts to 12 volts. That would be true if this had a battery. This bike isn't the international version, the SR. Never had a battery, never had signal lights, anything like that. It was all 6 volts only through light filaments and resistance. Um, once front headlight would bulb, which would be 35 or 25 watt 6 volt uh, front headlight, immediately after that the tail light would blow like flash bulbs and vice versa um, that's because they're going off a of resistance instead of actual current um, with both of the lights working the resistance would be equal it would cancel everything out and it would work off of the stator which would produce about 30 watts if this blows it's drawing more current for the front headlight producing more heat it would pop it would burn out the filament and that would be it so my initial plan was that DC regulator and rectifier combo with the boost uh, did all this in a Radio Shack project box has some 3M tape I was gonna use this reason why I didn't use that and I'll show you right now um, for that to work you need a battery uh, there's no ifs ands or buts you would be putting too much strain on the actual rectifier and I'd probably blow out the capacitor and the rectifier, if not both, um, due to putting drawing too little load. Um, so that would always have to be powering something that would have to power a battery or an SLA sealed lead acid battery, five amps an hour. I didn't want to do it that route, so I've been experimenting. I bought one of these Kozo. Um, this is converts uh, between 15 and 45 volts AC into 12 to 15 working volts DC at 6 watts or 500 milliamps. On full throttle, which I thought was interesting doing the math, this would decrease in watts uh, or amps an hour from 500 on idle to full throttle, which would be 0. 0.400 or 0. 400 milliamps an hour um and the rest would be lost due to heat so it doesn't blow this out <coughs> the reason that's good what i have here is a 3s lipo battery three cell um 2200 milliamps an hour 
or 2.2 amps. Now, I had an extra charger, which is cool because the Baja chargers are external, meaning you take your battery out, you plug it into a wall, charge it overnight, and then it's good for two to three hours worth of lights on the Baja kits. I didn't want to do it that way. I didn't want to have to plug my bike into a wall or take a battery out and go through the hassle of doing that. So I thought it was interesting. I had one of these chargers for an 11.1 volt lithium ion LiPo slash PO lithium polymer um, with the input max 15 volts 1.2 amps. Now what I thought was interesting is the charger that actually plugs into the wall that came off the cord piece over here which I cut and wired it into my wire harness that I'm custom making I thought it was cool because it would produce 15 volts which would be the max for this power regulator and rectifier combination and it was 800 milliamps instead of 500 which would still be safe for this because the input max would be 1.2 amps the output would be 1.2 amps as well so this is almost like a DC boost um, for the lithium battery. Now of course this battery is a little bit bigger than the stock battery that came with this charger, but that's fine. I don't want to over voltage this battery so it explodes in my bike. So here's the HID light that draws, I believe, 5 amps on startup. And this battery, even though it's not a 5 amp battery, will actually power this light on. And you can see that right here hold up and there it is it's buzzing because it's a digital system it's not AC and it works so in theory this should work now I'm a little skeptical because I don't want it exploding on my bike and causing a fire because these things are really nasty when they fucking blow up. Um, trust me, I, I do a lot of RC projects and I have a huge fucking 30 foot RC jet at turbine helicopter inside. I don't want it blowing up. I would really prefer it not to blow up and fucking grenade into my face while I'm riding. However, what I think, doing the math behind it, it shouldn't do anything other than under voltage this battery, which wouldn't do anything. Because it's plugged into the balancing port, it's still balancing all three cells. So it shouldn't catch on fire. Now, of course, I ordered the rear bag, which this battery is going to go into. It's going to be mounted just like this. I'm going to charge right there. And I also ordered a LiPo protection bag, fire protection bag. I believe it's made out of Kevlar and some other uh, neoprene and whatever else. Fucking, uh, I used to know it. It was on my fucking uniforms in the Army. Anyway, it's fire retardant. Um, and it should protect it in case it does catch on fire which would burn the plastic in the bag and not fucking grenade and ruin everything on this bike <coughs> now this i already wired it in this kozo unit it's all wired into the stator I already tested it with the fucking uh, voltage meter so you see it powers the lights the front hid headlight is going to be on a different circuit due to the high Voltage 25,000 volts at 3 amps going into that light to actually heat up the uh, mercury and xenon gases. And it's going to be on a separate circuit because it's going to be an LED headlight drawing 0.2 amps. Um, not headlight, uh, tail light, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's the video. That's the circuit I've made so far. Hopefully I'm crossing my fingers it works. If not, I already ordered the Ricky Stater Rewind for 65 watts instead of the 30 watt or 25, I'm sorry, watt system that the stock bike has. Oh no, it is 30, I'm sorry. Um, so hopefully I'm crossing my fingers this will work. Most people, again, they think that voltage is coming out of the stator when in, in fact it's, it's not. A stator is almost like a transformer. Um, in the fact that if you take a motorized, anything motorized, and you stip, spin it in the opposite polarity, it will actually produce a charge. The faster you go, the more volts, the more energy that's going to be outputting out of that. 
that's how a stator works it doesn't go off a voltage it's not a 12 volt system it's not digital this is analog old old system it doesn't have points anything like that but it's an old analog system with a solid piece magnet the same same thing it generates power through magnetic uh, fluctuations within a magnet spinning against a piece of iron with copper wire spinning around it I'm sure people have done this in school experiments where they do that little electro making an electromagnetic um, uh, electromagnet with a nail and a piece of a steel nail and a piece of copper wire wrapped around it that's the same principle only instead of just keep putting a charge through it you're actually building a charge with a magnet spinning around it so it is not 12 or 6 volts dedicated the bulbs that were stock 25 watt 6 volts for the front 6 volts 3 watts for the back either one of these bulbs blow they almost add up to 30 watts which the stock stator produces if this blows the front one will blow like a flash bulb why because now you're putting more wattage more amperage into the actual light bulb itself which is heating up the filament causing it to fail same thing with the back if the front headlight blows the rear headlight or rear tail light is almost instantaneously gonna pop so that's how six volt systems work they work on resistance and voltage instead of like a 12 volt system actual voltage that's why they use thicker wire if you notice uh, here's a six volt wire and here's a 12 volt wire this is 18 gauge or this is I'm sorry 22 gauge this is 18 gauge hell of a difference with the size of the wire diameter but that was my idea so far I'm waiting for the headlight actual housing unit which this is H4 is gonna fit in uh, this aftermarket so I bought a 90 an 89 94 headlight assembly the OEM rear bag, which I got it for a steal, ordered the light already. Everything should be coming within a week, and I got some cool, um, like PVA uh, protection shielding in green, which is the Cowie green, that should be coming as well. So hopefully this works. Can't wait to try it all together. I still have a lot of testing with the oscilloscope to see if it actually works the way I want to and without blowing that regulator recti or regulator rectifier combo that is up there now hopefully it works I know that 6 watts 500 milliamps is not going to power this so that's why I'm doing it with the battery and even if it does power that and it would be flickering and it wouldn't power the rear LED running light I don't want to do that so I'm doing it the way I'm doing it right now if anything, I already ordered the Ricky Stager 65 watt kit, which is for the lighting coil only. And I already built the diagram that you saw for bridge rectifier, capacitor, diode, and DC to DC boost converter to have a constant 12 volts, 5 amps, which I didn't want to do. But if I have to, I will have to do that if that doesn't work. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys informed and we'll see where it goes from there. Thanks for watching my video guys and hope you subscribe and comment, you know, see what's up. I promised this video a while back to someone that I'd show them the schematics for it and it took me a while to actually do this. Uh, I had some other shit going on, family problems and everything else. So uh, anyway. Everyone have a great day, stay safe, um, and have a great day.